Hi there. My name is Richard Rudman. And I'm a member of the Santa Paula Optimist Club. The Optimist Creed, it tells us to be so strong that nothing can disturb our peace of mind. Well, this year with COVID-19 is a test of that line in our creed for everybody. Normally, right now, I'd be standing in part of what would be the parking lot that the Optimist build for the rotary, for the pumpkin patch. Right now, it's a field of cilantro that in about a month will be packaged up and uh, you'll see at uh, Vaughn's and Ralph's and other places. You know, we'll be making cilantro out of lemon fields. But talking about the uh, pumpkin patch, we build the parking lot. We maintain the parking lot. We park the cars. That's our role in playing out this wonderful thing that we call the pumpkin patch here in Ventura. It takes a lot of people to do that. We work in cooperation with other service groups, police departments, uh, schools that come out and help us do this. First part of building the parking lot is taking the lot, which normally does not for pumpkin patch have a crop in it, and we have to lay out the lines. We do that by striping in white lime in bags in a the same kind of device that you see at a uh, football or baseball game marking out lines. And it's quite a bit of good exercise. I think normally the people that do this probably lose five or ten pounds over pumpkin patch. Plus we eat too many donuts. And uh, it uh, it's, it's a good team building exercise. After several years, uh, we have this, uh, you know, my part in this is uh, uh, taking lime out of the bags, putting it in the machine, pushing the machine down the rows. And uh, it's quite a, quite a bit of uh, trial and error sometimes to get all the lines to line up. But then the first weekend, when we start to have vehicles in, that's when the excitement starts, when we bring in the cars and line them up and park them. We have handicap areas for the cars. We have uh, special areas for people to drop off the uh, volunteers who work. And uh, we then have to go out and patrol the parking lot and the driveways in order to make sure that everything is safe and the people that we have out of patrolling who are all our volunteers that we work with uh, have water because it gets hot in October as we know and we don't want anybody to have any uh, health problems. Sometimes we have unusual things happen. I remember two years ago uh, fellow optimist Juan Almos and I got a call on the radios that we have to uh, go to uh, Foothill Drive just outside of where the cars come in and it was a dead skunk in the middle of the road like the song says. So Juan and I had to uh, dispose of that skunk in a, uh, uh, a, a good way to be able to do that. So uh, it, it's a it was a test of my optimism and also my sense of smell to be able to work with Juan to do that. But there are some, uh, like, like I say, there are interesting things, fun times to to, to deal with, good people to work with, and we have the satisfaction of putting on in Santa Paula a, an iconic landmark event that has, has helped put Lyman Era in Santa Paula and the Optimist Club and Rotary on the, in the minds and maps of people in this region. So thank you for listening and watching. Signing off.